Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meezy69, and again, for the second time today, we are back. And this time, we are back with some replays, some replays of the week. Usually, my replays of the week on the Saturday and the Sunday, I just pick three or four uh, good battles and post them up with no commentary. But I felt I needed to do commentary on today's replays because some of them are just well i'm gonna say amazing but i haven't actually seen any of these replays but going by the damage that you can see they have to be amazing so as i've said i haven't actually watched any of these replays so as you're watching it now it's pretty much the first time i have seen it all i know is the result, uh, the damage, and that is pretty much it. So first up, we have Bob, my very good friend, Bob. Um, one of my oldest uh, platoon mates and one of the best players in this game. I have learned so much from Bob and he is in his FV4202. It's a tank that he loves, loves driving it and... Um, it is an amazing tank. Um, so it's dead route. They have already cleaned cleaned up one tank. And now you can see there's a few of them chasing after. Well, I say chasing after the FV42. But Bob is keeping him tracked. And they managed to get him gone. And now you can see Bob is heading towards the Death Star. He looks on his own. Nice snapshot there into the wz 120 and now he's going to ignore the death star and he's going to clear this wz 120 uh, as he looks like he is on his own and the death star there is a few people that are all chasing after that death star so he knows how to use this hesh and he's constantly hitting this this tank with the hesh uh, and now you can see he's ignoring him going for the damage and he gets a shot into nice shot into that Death Star, keeping the Hesh and look at that. That was just beautiful. Unluckily that he left him on one HP, but he gets tracked as he shoots and he still manages to hit the Hesh shot for over four hundred damage. So it is four against three. Um, Bob's half health lost half his health. He got the back track there and another two mediums. Um, Object 140 is another good friend of mine, the Master Com uh, Sebastian, a uh, very good friend of mine. And he actually pinged me across this battle before Bob did. And then when Bob said he has a uh, replay, I was the one that sent Bob the, the, the screenshot. What you mean, this one? And this is it. Mm -hmm. So he's just got wrecked there leaving him on very very low hit points and i know for a fact sebastian is going to go and try and go for him he knows bob and he knows how good bob is uh bob managed to wow well, he managed to bounce that shot sebastian uh missed the first shot and now there is an e3 down there taking the attention and bob's just poking in and out he's waiting for sebastian or the master to come to to shoot and shots like that, that's an amazing shot. And he doesn't even need, that is how Bob is so OP. Doesn't even need to aim. And last up is this E50M, who again doesn't want to know Bob. Bob is hiding. And unfortunately, couldn't get that last shot. But look at that. Good game, Darren's OP friend. Uh, funny, funny, Sebastian. But great battle, Bob. 5.9k damage. And it looked like he'd done it with ease uh loses a bit of credit 1495 xp so amazing wouldn't expect nothing less from bob so we have four battles that is the first and each battle goes up in damage so every battle goes higher in damage so once you've seen the third battle you're just gonna think how the hell can the fourth be be more so now we've got quether in the object 704 and for some reason the replay started like a minute late not sure why because it is actually a replay it doesn't start halfway through unless he activated it halfway through i'm not 100 percent sure but 
already he's got a couple of shots in. He's got a shot into that T28. Uh, most of the team are around here. And he's just going to sit back, wait for him to reload. And then he's going to poke out. He's got that J-pump for now. Is he going to pen? Yep, he gets some nice penetration on him. E75 has now taken out the T54 lightweight. And there looks like there's going to be a couple of tanks flanking round. But Queffer is paying attention on, on that uh, J-Panther. And he manages to take him out on his first kill. So, already done a little bit of damage. Doesn't think, doesn't look like he's done massive amount of damage. He gets now that T28 taken. So, for his second kill. And there is only four tanks left alive. And... To be honest, when I finished, uh, when I see the end result, I wasn't quite sure how he got so much damage. Not sure if he got the damage, some damage before. Look at that, 800 roll on the AP. That was a nice shot. So I'm not sure if he got any damage before the recording started. But he takes, takes out the E75 now for his third kill. Just three tanks left. The AMX is trying to run away. Is he going to get him? No, he doesn't quite get him, but he is chasing after him. Can he get him? AMX is a fast tank, and chasing an AMX in a object 704, surely he's not going to catch up with him. No, gets the T30 instead for his fourth kill, takes him out, and now there is just this AMX left. Surely the AMX can't run away anymore, so gives him a little love tap. And are they, is he going to run around the build? What a shot. How, how did that even pen? I'm, I'm not even sure how he got that. But five kills. Not bad battle. Very nice battle. And he did finish on 6.2k damage. 17,000 credits. Top gun. High caliber. And the Radleys. And 1500 XP. So again, I'm not sure how he got so much damage. But it was a very well played in the Object 704 and thanks for Quiver for sending that in. Now, next up, third on the list, we have the STB, and it is Fluffy Fox. Now, last week, you if you remember, those that watched the sub replays, I did post a, a grill battle, which was just over 7,000 damage, and it was a loss. And it was from this man right here, Fluffy Fox. Um, after that battle, you would think, he had a hard time in that battle. He very nearly won it. And it was a massive heartbreaker. If you think that was a massive heartbreaker, you wait till you watch this one. And again, I haven't seen this battle at all. I have only seen the end result. So he's taken the WZ120 now. There is an Object 140 as well. Um, they are both the mediums. Uh, there's a TD that is, if you look at the minimap, there is a TD over the other side of the map and a couple of heavies. So these two should pretty much be on their own. Takes a nice shot there into the, the 120. He has got back up with, for his E50 and there is another medium backing him up. Object 140 decides to poke forward so Fluffy can get a uh, shot into him. And he saved his hit points. They're all shooting the E50 so he's saved his hit points. He's done a little bit of damage to these mediums so far, and he's taken nothing in return. So the WZ is a one-shot. T-54 managed to take him out before Fluffy Fox does. And now there is the Object 140 trying to run away, and he gets a nice shot into him, putting him pretty much down. Is he one? Yeah, he's a one-shot. And that is the fast tanks, but he's going to ignore that now. He can see the STI over the other side of the map. Might as well shoot a tank that's not looking at you. Free damage, and he gets a nice tank. But now the T-54 is now dead. The STI is... No, he's not going to turn. So he's got quite a bit of damage on that STI. Pretty much taking him down from full. But there is the, still the Object 140. I'm not sure where he's gone now. Is he around here? But he, I know he is very low health. Uh, he's going to poke forward now using the gun depression. Nice shot into that E-4. Backs up beyond the ridge, and there is that 140. Is he going to focus on him? Uh, not at the minute. He's going to get... And again, I love these shots where you don't sniper mode. They look so good when you do manage to pen. Unlike that. So, 
he's now in a great position. Great position. He can, with the gun depression, and again, a great shot into that STI. That STI has got absolutely annihilated by Fluffy Fox, but that object has come back to haunt him. Gets a little bit of damage into him. Low roll there, and now it is one versus six. Surely he can't win a one versus six, although there is two or three that are a one shot. So he's just going to sit here because they are going to have to come to win if they want to win the game, unless they go and cap. So there again, like I said, there's a few tanks that are on a one shot. That object 140 is being a pain in the ass. It would be so much easier if he was dead. Is he going to get him? Nope. He's not going to get him. The E4 now comes up. Uh, they both miss. Fluffy misses him. The E4 misses him. But Fluffy's reload is quicker. Again, that, that 140 being a pain. Now, I've been in this position in a Type 59. And it, with something with good gun depression and great frontal armor, this position is very very nice and i have almost won a one versus seven in this position and you can see there the st the sti trying to back up but as he backs up he does get shot unfortunately he doesn't pen that e4 now there is uh someone capping so a uh, nice shot again into that e4 putting him down to pretty much not quite a one shot mm -hmm. Uh, now he is a one shot so there is now four tanks all in front of him all a one shot so this he's now made this very very possible to win but the cap is going up the cap is going up and up is he going to manage he managed to take out that 140 that's been a pain in the ass just if he could take him out a little bit quicker and that was a nasty shot and that could be the, the winner that shot there from the waffle could be uh the difference from winning and losing so he does manage to take out that e4 now there is the cap going up and he's on 80 gets a nice shot nice he shot into that waffle he can't afford any more shots he gets another nice shot but i can now say this is going to be a loss because he's not going to get back and reset that cap in time 97 98 99 and he's got the 100. Is he going to get any more damage? He gets 158 damage more. Just if he didn't lose that many hit points. If if he wouldn't have been shot by that waffle there. He could have gone and re, uh, reset cap. But nevertheless a very nice battle. And he does finish on 8.1k damage. Gets the mastery top gun high caliber. 4 kills. 15,000 credits, 1,600 XP. So very well played. Very nice carry indeed. Great carry. And unfortunately, again, Fluffy, it was a heartbreak loss. Not only have you done it once with the grill this week with over 7,000, you've done it now again in the STB with over 8,000. But nevertheless, you played an amazing battle and great damage. Next up, this is the T-57. Um, a great tank. And I've showed a replay a couple of days ago, actually, in the T-57 uh, with my good friend Gentle Fun. And he done about, he just, he done nearly 7,000 or 6.4 thousand damage, I think. And it was a great battle, great battle. But this battle was another level well another level damage i haven't again i haven't seen the battle i just know the results so i'm not sure how he's going to play it but it is driven by stego and again a few weeks ago if you've or last week if you see my sub replays it, there was a battle on castilla and it was the su 101 and this guy here right here done 6.2k damage in a tier a so I have no doubt he can. He's got the ability to carry and do an amazing battle. Unfortunately, that shot there with the HE uh, didn't quite penetrate fully, and then does a hundred damage. And already his team have only got two, uh, five left, five alive, two down, and he's now reloading. You've got 
the two tanks to his left. Now we've got the T-54 that is focusing on the IS-7, which means Stego can get a couple of shots into the T-54. Uh, nice shot there. He's now one shot, and he does manage to clear him up. And now he's going to go into hiding again uh, for that long reload. So it is now four against six, so still a lot of work to do. Uh, you've got the Leopard 1 down here taking the attention of the IS-7, which means Stego can go down, and he's using that HE, you can see there. 535 damage, great shot. Another nice shot. So he's now in one clip. He's pretty much taken the whole of his hit points away. And he's only left him on just over 100 HP, which means the IS-7 can take him out. Not sure if he killed him or if he shot him or rammed him, but he has now gone. And now he's got the E100. He is just about to reload, and he does reload in time to take him out. Uh, three against four now. Uh, you've got the waffle round here. He's still got two shells in his clip. No, he has not. He's got one shell. Nice shot there. Just over 700 damage, putting him on fire. He is, however, now on a reload, and he's just baited that shot and is he going to go in for the ram that's exactly what i'll do while he's reloading and that is exactly what he does do great thinking there from stego um, but it is now two against three and the is7 is pretty much a one shot he is now reloaded and he does release a whole clip into the side of the is4 IS-7 is now pushing in. I don't think he's going to last much longer. But he does manage to take out the IS-4. Which leaves just the E-75 and the IS-7. Stego is almost reloaded. Is he going to go for the IS-7 first to clear him up? Yes, he is. He gets one shot into the IS-7. Leaving I he misses the next shot. And he misses the last shot. That could be... Very dangerous. The I7 is now pushing him. He is a two shot to the I7 with with still ten seconds left to go. But the team IS teammate, the green I7, is still alive, and he manages to take him out. So now it should all be a win. He's reloaded, got one shot into him, and the I7 clears him up. So very well played from Stego and the I7. Very well played both of them. And again, the damage dealt was amazing. 8.3k damage, 22,000 credits earned, mastery badge, top uh, high caliber, doesn't get the top gun, but fair play to that IS-7. Doesn't do much damage, but I think Stego could have won without him, but very, very well played to both of them. And that is it, guys. More sub replays tomorrow uh, with no commentary. So I hope you enjoyed these. And I'll see you all soon. Do you think you're